How you doing? I'm Matt Lupus. I'm franchise area director here uh, for our new restaurant opening in Winfield, Alabama. Um, what you what you see here is our new design of our kitchens. Um, everything is been put in place for operational execution and efficiency. Um, our, our cook's line actually goes in what we call a T-shape. So what you see is you'll see refrigeration in our cook's line in the back there. Uh, but also over here we have our waffle station, which kind of forms a T. The reason why we did the T is so for cooks to not have to take as many steps. Uh, the more steps a cook takes, the uh, more time it will take to cook the food. Um, also what you'll notice is the stainless, uh, quilted stainless steel there. Uh, that really gives this, uh, um, this restaurant a nice diner feel, uh, which is what we're all about here. Uh, all equipment is movable. Uh, the reason for it being movable uh, is for cleanliness, uh, certainly to uh, get back there and polish the stainless steel and of course uh, to, um, to keep up with the floors as well. So on the top, this is where, like I said, the cooks and servers do cross. Cooks will let uh, the servers know it's ready and of course the servers will come to ensure that the uh, food is as ordered. Underneath here though, this is everything that we're going to put in our microwaves or anything that we're going to dress the meal with such as uh, whipped topping, uh, things such as that. Um, how it works is, is that if there's an order for the microwave such as our pot roast which is heat to serve, they'll take it from this fridge and they'll put it right there into the microwave. Once again, all these stations are, are, are basically designed to lessen the cook steps. All right. So this, this station right here is certainly for the microwaves uh, right there, okay? As we continue walking down the line, now there's a lot of employees here. This is because it's the first day of opening. Uh, so certainly for training purposes, we want uh, one employee per station. Uh, most huddle houses will run theirs anywhere from one to three cooks. We have about six cooks on the line, so we'll try to, we'll try to make our way. Once again, operational efficiency, right? Drawers for your bread right below the toaster. Once again, bada bing, bada boom. For, uh, that way there's no steps uh, at all for, uh, for our cooks. Right here is our sandwich station. Our sandwich station has two functions. Uh, number one, you'll have your fillings for your omelets. You'll have your garnishments for our plates. Um, you'll have, of course, mixes and, and things that go into our sandwiches. All in here with our quarter cups for portioning, okay? Underneath are drawers. They're used for two different things. Number one is, of course, to restock the sandwich station, okay? What you'll see here is, we'll go through a lot of cheese, of course, in this opening. Cheese, butter, pickles, and of course, down here, ribeye steaks and baked potatoes, okay? So, not only is it just a refill, but also our cooks will use this as well, okay? Baked potatoes get reheated in the microwave, so that's why everything has a home. That's why they sit in the sandwich line straight for the microwave right there. Ribeye steaks will be cooked on our grill, so that's why they sit right there, okay? If you keep walking with me, there is a purpose for our bacon and sausage to be at the top left of the drawer. These are our two most popular meats, of course. We are bacon and eggs, we are sausage and eggs. That's what our, uh, our customers love. And so, when you look at this, you'll see your sausage will sit here, bacon, and of course we have our popular sugar cure ham on the top as well, okay? Last but not least, especially for openings, okay, you'll have your hamburger sitting right there as well, okay? Okay, um, if you keep walking with me, the, actually, we'll go right here. This is where the sandwich wells are as well, okay? So these are, these are all items that are hot held, gravies, mashed potatoes, um, green beans, things such as that. We talked about that, that T-shaped, right? So instead of a cook having to walk to the far right, Instead, they just turn right around and can put the hot foods on the plate. Um, foods that are already hot held are normally the last things that will go on a plate, hence the reason they're right behind this expo person right here for operational efficiency. So the first thing you see here is our grill. Our grill comes in, in different temperatures. You'll have 375 to your far right, okay? The reason why it's 375 is that, see the hash browns right there? So the hash browns are our most popular side for our breakfast is either hash browns or grits. So that way the cook, all they have to do is literally use both hands and stand in one place. Once again, eliminating more steps for them trying to make it uh, a lot easier for them, okay? Uh, where she just placed those hamburgers is on the 350 section of the grill. This is where most of our items are cooked, is at the 350. And then last but not least, we do have a warming section. What goes in the warming section are hams that are already pre-cooked, 
and our omelet fillings right there. Okay, so three different temperatures on our grills. Once again, the grill, the grill is movable because as we're losing low melt grease, things like that, uh, to help clean up the floors and keep up the, uh, the restaurant cleanliness, it is movable. Um, if we keep walking, three different egg state, what we call the egg station, um, three different burners. Uh, this is primarily used to flip our eggs and things like that, okay? Right underneath is our egg pans. Once again, cooks very easily can basically take the egg pan and make the meal right there, okay? We use the back burners pretty much to reheat or to heat items up before the steam table, all right? If you look above you real quick, the reason why we put the plates here, once again, eliminating those steps, right? A cook can take a plate down, plate the food, send it to the right, eliminating steps. Once again, going with the T-shape of the uh, cook's line right here, we have four different types of waffle makers right here. And of course, it sits on the refrigeration that holds the waffle mix. Okay, so very simple here for this egg cook to turn right around and prepare waffles as well. Okay, once again, eliminating steps in the restaurant. Okay, um, let's continue the movement. Right here is our bread grill. Uh, what will go on our bread grill will be pancakes primarily. Um, also, Texas toast during the dinner hours. Um, we'll also uh, grill some of our uh, deli buns. Also, this entire grill right here is 350. 350 right here. You can see underneath here, once again, trying to eliminate cook steps. We do have a bread rack that has the deli rolls, um, the Texas toast, and the hamburger buns as well. Where they would go to get their pancake mix? Right behind them. Right behind them. All of our restaurants have, of course, the fryer timer to ensure quality of product. All timers are labeled, and then the chart right there as well. Okay? Okay. Once again, for, for efficiency and speed of service, a, a reach-in freezer sits right next to the fryer. Okay? In the freezer, you'll have those products you'll, you'll put in your fryer. Okay? Sitting next to the freezer is a reach in refrigeration. Also, this is primarily going to be used for our eggs, our egg cooler. We want to put this as close as we can uh, to, the, to the egg preparation area.